Hi, my planner friends. Today I am going to do the second part of setting up my Hobonichi Weeks. And as you can see in part one, I put together this really cute uh, woven washi cover and put it inside my little plastic cover. So um, the next part that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the monthly and the weekly uh, pages in my planner. Uh, it doesn't like to stay shut. So I have my stickers here from Coco Daisy, and this is from the July 2020 kit, the Daisy Weeks kit, and the Daisy Calendar Weeks kit. So the first two stickers were the Calendar Weeks kit, and then these stickers are the Daisy Weeks sti uh, sticker kit. Um, so there are quite a few sheets in the uh, Daisy Weeks sticker kit, and then the uh, Calendar weeks calendar kit there are two sets so normally I have set up my month like this and I put the numbers in one by one which is kind of a lot of work and there's not a lot of real estate on the monthly page so um, so as you can see the last couple of months I have not used this planner this is my work media planner and we have been shut down for COVID-19 and so um, for a couple of weeks, I decided to use this as a personal planner because I just didn't really need my big A5. So I did use it for a couple of weeks, but then uh, then I got back and I needed my A5 because it was time for me to go back to work and, and I had lists of stuff. And so it's just kind of been hit or miss in this planner the last few weeks. Um, so I'm kind of excited to get it back in use. Um, I love using it for my media at work. So. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up my monthly page. And the thing that I love about this new Calendar Weeks kit from Coco Daisy is that it makes setting up your month so easy. Like, if you want to do fabulous things with your Hobonichi Weeks, this could be your starting point. For me, this is my monthly setup. Um, I expend a lot of creative energy in my A5 planner and with my Hobonichi Weeks, I just want this planner to work for me and be cute. I like it when it's cute. I pay more attention to it. So um, these stickers just make my monthly view super cute and they are easy to do when you can get the sticker down, unlike me in this moment. So I decide that the tweezers are not going to help me. I figured out in the last week or so that if it's long and skinny like that, it's just easier for me to use my fingers to put it down. So um, I had another set of stickers that I was working on that were like that, and the tweezers just really don't help for those. For small stickers, the tweezers are great. So it's got this great um, uh, days of the week that go up at the top. And these stickers fit in the Hobonichi Weeks. Somebody measured them very carefully, and they are perfectly sized. So as you put everything down, it all just makes for a very, very cute month. And so um, <laughs> I am pointing out here that uh, there was a little typo. Um, when I was in design school, the joke was, there's always a typo. It's just if somebody finds it or not. There's never a perfectly printed piece. We are all humans. Things get printed, and they're not always perfect. And so this one, I think, says uh, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it says 6, 7 again. So it's only off in those two little spots. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's just one of the idiosyncrasies of printing something. Um, I've always heard that when you're designing something, leave a big glaring mistake so that when they proof it, they'll find the glaring mistake and then they won't be like, oh, I think you should change something else. But um, yeah, so the other thing I love about this is these little number strips, one, you only have to put them down like two for the week. Um, because I made a mistake over there where I put those first two down and I'll have to fix it in just a minute. Um, so you just put this strip down. The other thing is it's low profile because these little boxes are pretty small to begin with. And so um, the low profileness of this 
of the numbers at the top give you a little bit more space to write in that box, which is nice um, because for me, what I'm using this for, I'm writing, I write in every box because every box I fill in is what we put on social media for that day. So we try to have a post at least every day. And so I kind of handle the more um, like the advertisement type posts. And then I have someone else who is taking pictures during the day. And so they're just doing the pictures of our members type posts. So so mine can be planned out way in advance. And when I'm able to plan it like this, then when I have an extra hour or two, I can sit down and schedule all of my Facebook posts for at least a couple of weeks, if not a whole month. And so that's really nice because then I'm not tied to having to try to do social media every day. And I have a social media presence every day. So, um, so I love the low profileness of these stickers. I love how the colors all blend together. I don't love when I put them down crooked. Um, and they are forgiving for a moment or so, but once you get them down, you kind of need to leave them down. Um, cause this paper is very fine for the Hobonichi weeks. And, um, I wouldn't want it to be my main planner, but for my, for what it is, I like that it's a tiny little planner. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of space on my desk. It doesn't take up a lot of space in my bag. Um, it stays at work a lot, but sometimes it goes back and forth. It just kind of depends on how the month goes. So um, I am getting these stickers down. And um, Coco Daisy stickers are just really nice. They coordinate. And I take this week's kit, and I use some of them in this book, but some of them I use in my A5 as well. And same thing with the other sticker kits. Um, I actually subscribe to all of the sticker kits. Um, I am on the design team, so uh, just for transparency purposes, I do receive some things for free and some things at a reduced price. But um, I do subscribe to all of the sticker kits, and so I will use my, um, once we get into the weeks, setting up the first week, um, I use stickers from the uh, memory keeping sticker kit, which are really big stickers, and uh, the classic sticker kit and the planner sticker kit. I use all of them. So this is the point where I realize uh, I get to the end and I think, oh, I don't have all of the um, numbers. And then I realize, oh, I stuck those up at the top. So I started to peel it off and it was going to tear the paper because it had been sitting there long enough that it wasn't. So I got some undo out and put a few drops on. And if you have never used undo before, it is just the best stuff ever. So it gets your paper all wet. Your sticker comes right off. You can see it didn't tear the paper at all. Um, the paper is all wet. There it is, undo. And um, it doesn't stain your paper. And so I'm just going to like pick it up and kind of air it out just a little bit just because it was so wet. It's kind of going to the next page. But the most fabulous part of it is that once you peel your sticker up, it's still sticky. So you can stick it back down somewhere else. So I'm quite a fan of undo. Um, if you're a kind of person that's not into chemicals and stuff, you probably don't want to use it because I think it's full of all kinds of chemicals. But it does its job. It peels the sticker up and the sticker's still sticky. So I love it. So, um, yeah, so we've got this little strip that goes down the side that says July. I peeled the turtle up because I thought he was part of the strip. And so here I'm just trying to figure out um, how it lines up. I think I put it down not quite so straight the first time. But um, it lines up right at the top and it covers that little black bar that has the name of the month. And then it fits right down to the end of the um, the last box of, of the month. And so it fits perfectly right there. And I'm going to put that box back. But I can't remember if I use it later on or not. I went back and forth. Um, so then there are other pieces that fit just perfectly 
at the bottom of the page and cover up uh, that blank area at the bottom of the page. And I just love with these two stickers, it's just a perfect sort of setup for the page that it just fits everything. And so that just fits and it works. And my monthly setup is just about done. I think I look at something else and I'm like, oh, look at these stickers. So they're also little square stickers that are the exact size of the monthly square, which is super cute. So um, I decided to put one of those there. And, um, and then I figure out, this is the second time that I've had this kit. Um, and so after I put these there, then I look at the other sheet and realize, oh, they've really worked this out and they actually made boxes that fit in the two empty places here. So I peel these back up and put it off to the side to try to see what I'm going to do with it because I'm thinking that I have more boxes than I actually have. but. Um, but no, Coco Daisy had thought it all through much better than I did. So, um, so all I can say is I'm a little bit confused at this point in the video. Um, I'm looking at the stickers that I have. I keep pushing that turtle back down, but eventually he's going to come up because now I'm looking at this sheet going, oh, I have two of these little stickers and they'll look cute. But I'm thinking that I have two in the bottom there, but that's an actual date. And so then right here is when the light bulb goes off in my head that, oh, look, these two go at the top and these two go at the bottom. So, yeah, so I figured that out right here. So um, I get my undo out again. And um, I, I swear, you guys, when I do videos, I do like I don't use undo, but like once every two months or something. I've used it twice in this video. So like, it's just like, it's funny because uh, when I'm doing a video, I think it's because I'm thinking about, you know, I'm trying to think of two different things at one time. I'm thinking about setting the layup up and what's filming at the same time. So I'm much more likely to do something that's just silly. Um, so, um, so yeah, so they had thought this through, what days were open. And they made this cute little artwork that goes right in here. Um, and it says, I need to live where summer never ends. So the kit has extra stickers so that you can put um, other artwork down and boxes for stuff. I generally just write in the uh, squares what my social media is for that day because I kind of need the whole square. But we are done with the month and we're moving on to the weeks. Okay, here is the first week of July that we're going to set up. And so over the last few months, I have started putting washi on the edges of the paper. I think I started that in March. Um, I really like that it gives that thin paper a little bit more stability on the edge. And I also just like the way it looks when you, um, when you flip it open. And so this is the week that we're going to set up. It is the last week of June, first week of July, but I, in my head, it's July. And so I have to look at the washi from the kits to decide. Obviously, I wouldn't do the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, although that is one of the cutest washies I've ever seen in my life um, because I already have the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday stickers from the kit. Um, so I went with the blue one just because it'll create more contrast with the page. Uh, it has, it's like a tealy bluish green and it's got bubbles on it. And so for this first week of the month, um, the back of the sheet will have the washi from June and the front of the sheet will have the washi from July. And so you can see there's the June washi. And then for July, I'll just put it on this side and I have to trim it off. For the other days of the month, I just fold it over. So this first one I will put down and get it even and line it up stick it down and then just quickly come back with a pair of scissors and uh, trim it off. But I really do like how that gives it a little more stability. And so um, 
it's just super simple to come back with the scissors and trim it but I think I go off camera and so I'm just gonna speed this up because I'm going to do this for four for the for all four weeks Okay, so I'm trimming off my last page because I'm only putting that on one side because I will put August washi on the other side of that page. And so now I have my July pages with the washi on the edge. And I like to do that first because I like that to be, if I put a sticker down, I want it to be underneath the sticker. So that is the first thing that I set up when I'm setting up my weeks. And so then I go and I get my days of the week stickers. And, um, and so... I like how it has all the colors. I tend to like to put these down, turn the book this way and put them down sideways. It just seems to be easier for me. Um, but I do like that um, each one is a different color and um, it just gives you a pretty little rainbow effect no matter what the colors are in the kits. And then everything just always coordinates so nicely. So I love that. So I'm just going to speed this up a bunch because that's pretty straightforward. I'm just putting the days of the week down. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, then I, I kind of jump around when I'm setting things up. I don't go in the most logical of orders all the time. So the kits are made so that the top of the, um, there are stickers for the top of the page that say uh, July 2020 and then week 27. I really love that because I like keeping up with my weeks by number um, and then on the other side it has a little tracker so for me I'm gonna use that since this is my work social media uh, planner I will put Facebook on there because I manage a senior center and most of my seniors have Facebook so that is our major um, place that we are uh, reaching out to people through social media and so then I can just mark off did I at least post once every day. So um, so that's pretty straightforward and they're just the right size for that. And then on the, uh, let's see where I'm going now. So on the, on that sheet as well, sorry this is off screen, I have, um, they have coordinating for the same week. I think I scooted up a little bit here. Um, they have artwork for the bottom. And so generally, um, it is a saying that goes across the spread. And so um, this one says, try to be like a turtle, be at ease in your own shell. And so um, I was just checking that there to make sure the number of the date that what I was going to start with was June 29th. And so um, I, there, I just, the little numbers are clear, so they fit right in the little hole. Uh, and so every month I end up using the end of the month stickers at the beginning of the month because um, because I start a week like this. But it tends to work out because then the next month I use the end of the month stickers for the next kit. So I haven't, I, I think maybe I've gotten caught off guard once or twice and I just use some other numbers or I just write the number in very neatly uh, for those one or two days and it it works out. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I got all the numbers in there and so now I am ready to set up my uh, my pages now that I have all the structure down for the page. And it's been a while since I've used this planner for my social media so I'm just taking a moment to go back and look at what I had done before and how I set the page up because it really was serving me well before and so now I am looking through all of my other Cocoa Daisy stickers just to try to find um, different stickers that I think will help 
make this layout and um, so I'm looking at the Hobonichi or the Daisy Week stickers as well as the I like to use the gigantic um, boxes from the uh, memory keeping sticker kit and then I go in with one of the uh, check boxes from the classic sticker kit um, because they're a little bit longer and so I use that checkbox for the email that I send to um, my members every week and I just put all the items that I want to hit and so um, I just design an email for them that has you know maybe small boxes or just little items of interest that they might want so I use that box to put any ideas for um, for items that I want to make sure that I communicate to them so now I am going back and checking out all of my alphabet stickers. Um, some of them, those gradient ones that I ended up using, those were from the, they're either the memory keeping sticker kit. Yeah, that's it, I can see it. Uh, the memory keeping sticker kit and um, the big green letters, the lime green letters that are behind it, I got at the Etsy shop just recently. So I was pretty excited about that. I love those hard, uh, those heavier weight stickers that are different colors and they're tall and skinny. I like those a lot too. But I ended up using the gradient ones here and um, it looked a little empty up there. So um, so since the bottom of the page said, be at ease in your own shell, be like a turtle, I put a little turtle there. And so I usually use one of those teeny tiny Hobonichi uh, Daisy Week stickers to put the date for that the email will go out. And um, that didn't seem thick enough. So I just redid it again in a little bit thicker pen. And then I wrote Facebook. Up there so that I can track it and then um, I will go back in and decide what it is that I want to email my members for next week and so now I'm just looking for some deco to go in there and um, I pull a lot of stickers off pages and I like to on the go because I am actually on vacation this week so I'm not actually in the office but I can schedule my Facebook um, for while I'm not there so um, so I get this all set up put a little deco in there once again I went with the turtle I just went with the consistent theme and then I went back to the Daisy Week sticker kit and just pulled out the uh, little tiny checklists and they coordinate perfectly with the color of the days of the week and so um, I just kind of add them next to the days of the week so it just kind of makes an extended sticker there that is also a checklist and so I can put any of my Facebook posts that are going to go there um, if I want to work on my email I might put it there um, I also sometimes send out robocalls to my members and so um, so that's what I use those checklists for just things that either the Facebook post that I want to post that day or um, any other types of communication that I might be doing with my members and so um, so my last thing to put on the right hand page is a next week checklist so that if I'm ahead of the game I can go ahead and make images for things that I want to advertise um, and that way I have them in front of me and so that is my page so I've got my month and I got my cover and that is my Hobonichi weeks for the month so I grabbed my pen from July of 2019 to go with it because it matches the artwork so nicely. And so there is my week and I am ready to go for next week. And thanks for watching.